Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on Solid Cell Security. We're going to be talking, going to be talking about opening a SOX5 proxy. So, let's just say if we were running Linux and we wanted to open up a, a SOX proxy, what we'd be doing is we type in SSH, the D for dynamic, then the part number, and then we'd have the user at the remote server. So, what that's doing is it's opening up and open up a SOX proxy to that server. So, we would connect locally to that part number and it would be sent over to that remote server, thus we'd be using that server's remote IP address. Now we can use this for web browsing very easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring up um, PuTTY and we're going to go into SSH, this is the IP to the remote server, uh, under tunnels we want to say, let's just use A because this is what we've got set already in localhost and dynamic. So I want to do that, I'm going to click add, I'm going to click open, and when I go ahead and log in as root, that, clean this up a little bit, okay, so we're logged in, I'm going to bring up Firefox, go under options, options again, and give me a second to remember where this actually is. Uh, network settings, um, socks. Make sure you select the manual. This is going to be on no proxy. Click manual and make sure you do not use any of these other options. Select socks 5, localhost, and the 80 that we clicked. So we've got that set. So if we go over to say C. Um, google.com see my IP and we are now using that server's IP to browse the web through the web browser. Now keep in mind that unless you in some way have an application that lets you enter a proxy server you're not going to be able to make use of that SOX proxy and it's going to go through your default uh, internet connection use your default IP address. So keep that in mind when browsing that if you're not using the SOX connection, a lot of applications they give you the proxy option that you can put your SOX proxy in so it uses it. But if it doesn't, it's going to use your default connection, so keep that in mind. But that's pretty much how it is to open up a SOX 5 connection. It's very simple, it's very quick, it's very easy. If you're on Linux, you can just as well use this, and it opens it up as well. So you can use that, you can use PuTTY for Windows. So either way, you're going to be able to open up that that SOX connection and have an encrypted connection and stay secure and, in a sense, private to, to an extent with SOX. But um, other than that, it's very, very simple. So... Just want to give you guys a little run up on that and hopefully you guys enjoy that. It's very, uh, some of the uses that you can use this on if you're like in a public place, um, like on open Wi Fi, and you want to get onto like, um, uh, um, say a back end system or your website, or you know, just want to log in securely to help keep your uh, packet safe and not viewable, it's some pretty good options. So, uh, hope that was helpful and. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.